Hi there, this is Ali Chamel. This is Ekme Monster Tea Truck. Um, some of the fellows were asking me about the settings on the Team Infinity engines that Ekme has been using in their Condor Pro and Ekme Monster T and other nitro cars of Ekme. Um, some of the people are having trouble with uh, starting the engine or tuning the engine, so I'm posting this video and showing you the settings on carburetors, uh, high speed or low speed needles. Um, let's get to work, shall we? Okay, the tank is refilled. First off, let me show you the settings. Let's assume we have messed up the settings. Um, say, this one is somewhere here, and our low end is also kind of messed up. Let's say you were playing with the settings and you kind of messed it up. So what I would recommend for the low end is that you open it counterclockwise and uh, flush it to edges. Uh, just a tiny bit out of edge is also okay, that's why I'm leaving it right now. Um, let's say we'll leave it here. Now for the high end, I would simply counterclockwise open it, flush it to edges. Now let's say I have just flushed it with edges and I'm going to close it three full circles. One, two, and three. Now this is where I would begin with. Once again you can see very clearly the low end is flushed with the edges and the high end is uh, three circles clockwise turns from the full open or flush to edges. Let us look in the carb. At the moment the carb servo is full close or idle position but you can still see there is a tiny gap open there. That's a good idle at the moment, so I'll leave it here. And when opening the throttle full, you can see between here, this needle, and this little tube, there's a gap. Sometimes uh, to set the low end, it's also a good idea that you keep this gap a bit open when the throttle is full. Okay, as you can see, in the beginning, if you have messed up with the low end, uh, you can actually take the air filter off, look into the carb, open the throttle servo so that the carb is full open, and you can see these. there is a gap between these two pins, and you can set it exactly about a millimeter or 1.5 millimeter. That should be a good start for your low end. Now let us see and start the engine. First off, I would prime the engine. I'll turn on the radio, turn on the receiver. I will set the throttle trim a little bit open, pull the starter, block the exhaust and pull the starter again. see the fuel is flowing here. One thing about this Team Infinity engine that I found is that the pull start is always very hard.
can see when I pinch the fuel line before engine quits, the engine RPM go high for one or two seconds and then the engine quits. That shows that our low end is properly set up. As you can see, the engine temperature also shows me all okay after this much of uh, RPMs, uh, high RPM and full throttle that I just took on the box. Um, at the moment the engine is showing all okay and there was no sign of bogging down on the full throttle. Also idle to partial throttle and partial to full throttle was all good. Once again, let me show you the settings. For the high end, flush it to the edges and then one, two, and three. For the low end, what I did was what I did was flush it to edges. This was originally here. And then from there, when I looked into the carb, I saw the gap between two needles and I set them up to about one, 1.5 millimeter by closing the low end for one full circle. Now, on this setting, this engine is running very good, kind of perfect, and I would even go out and bash it, but it's kind of rainy season now, so I cannot get this truck out. Well, that's it for the ECME in Team Infinity engine. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, email me at alishonbo at gmail.com. Thank you. I'm out.